So my first question is, have you always lived in Augusta? Yes, I have. So how did you end up here? Like, were you just born, born here? Mm -hmm. Um. So for me, I was born and raised here. Um, we live in a two-story, like, single-family home, like, five-bedroom kind of thing. With me coming up? No, me. Oh, okay, okay. Um, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> so could you tell me a little bit about what kind of home you live in? Well, I live in a two-story home. Okay. $190,000 home. Okay. Um, so have you ever been interested in solar, either rooftop for your home on your property or as part of a business or a program through your unit? No, I haven't. And you're a homeowner, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so has that ever been um, an option for you? Or I've looked at it, but I never really seriously considered doing it. Okay. Um, so was the house that you're in now, was it one you bought, so like you didn't build it? Or yes, did you one I it? bought, yes. So that wasn't automatically offered, like the previous homeowners didn't have that as an option? No. If you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? That's kind of questionable because, I mean, the weather's not always great, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And if you use a lot of power, I don't think it would be efficient. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about rooftop solar in general. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a map of the United States. And if you can, just put an X or circle the areas or the states that you think have um, the most solar energy. You want me to do every state? No, just whatever areas you think, whether it's a state or like a specific area kind of deal. Put an X? Yeah, put an X or a circle, whatever you want to do. So why do you think these states have the most rich top solar? I don't know. This is Texas right here, right? Mm -hmm. I would think they have it out there with a lot of farms and stuff like that. Am I correct? It's totally your opinion, so there's no right yeah, answer, I mean, I just but said. I would think so too, yes. Yeah. Georgia, I know they have a lot of them around here. Mm -hmm. uh, what state is this? California. California, I know they got it out there also. Okay. Um, so, what kind of people do you think live in these communities? Environmental people. Okay. Um, so You're talking about people that live with the solar panels? Yeah. Yeah, environmental people. Um, so, what do you think people um, in the areas that you mark? why they would choose to have the most solar on their rooftops? Probably to save more on, on the electric bill or whatnot. I mean, it's pretty hot in those places, huh? Okay. Um, so we're going to do the same thing, but with the state of Georgia. So if you just want to circle or mark whichever areas in Georgia you think have the most rooftop solar. You want me to do every one? Just whichever ones you think, as many as you think. So why do you think these areas? I mean, it's terribly, terribly high here in Augusta. Uh -huh. But a lot of people, you have a lot of eco-type people around here, so far as with the eco cars, with electric cars mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know. Okay. And all and all of those, matter of fact, because it's hot. I mean, it's weather. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do you think makes the areas that you mark different from the other areas in Georgia? Like the people in those areas, why would you think they would choose it more likely? Because of the weather, I would say. Okay. So, do most of your close friends in Georgia have rooftop solar? A lot of my customers that I do. I've been in business over 40 years, and a lot of my clients, they have a lot of big farms and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And a lot of them are country people, so they have a lot of, you know, farms and stuff like that, and they do have that. Um, so, if you don't mind, we're going to ask a few questions regarding the role of food in your day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. um, so if you could tell me what your regular day with food looks like. So what do your meals and snacks typically look like? I normally do peanut butter crackers. Uh, I have salad pretty much every night. Uh, chicken and fish mainly. Okay. For me, like my favorite go-to snack would be um, like a fruit or something. Like any type of fruit I love. I like watermelon. Okay. Yeah, and grapefruit. So could you tell me what your go-to meal or snack is and why? I do a lot of peanut butter crackers because that peanut butter is protein and I do a lot of physical work. Okay. Um, so, how often do you cook your own meals? Pretty much, I would say, three times a week. So, are you the only person in the household that makes decisions about the food purchases? Yes, pretty much. How often do you purchase food for the household? I would say normally I get everything that we normally eat. I normally buy it all at one time, monthly, about okay. once a month. 
Um, so if you could paint this picture for me, let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food, what does that look like? Uh, steak, fish, chicken, shrimp, and crab legs a good bit. Uh, a lot of salad. My son loves cereal. I do too. Uh, and I've cut off on the bread, I would say, in rice. Okay. Um, so when it comes to feeding your family, what challenges might you face? For example, my family has picky eaters, so we have to make sure it's something everybody will eat. He pretty much eats everything I eat, pretty okay. much, yeah. We Same. eat together and watch cartoons together. <laughs> so you don't really have that much challenge? I don't have that much challenge, no. Gotcha.